Techno YouTube. Today is my first time using OBS Studio to record on screen activities on the new inch, 8 inch tablet. Uh, this is geared towards the people that have a new inch, uh, a new vision, 8 inch tablet, and a 10 inch tablet, or pretty much any of their like current line, I believe. Um, this is so you get more performance out of your device and also so you can uh, um, pretty much improve boot times and uh, closing times. So um, I've all of this is stuff that I've learned on YouTube. I don't uh, I'm no expert, um, but these are just a few tricks that I've learned that could help out in any of those things for your tablet. Um, so, um, bear with me and just, uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. So first off, uh, we're going to work on your, um, performance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to control panel. So I type it in, in the search bar. There it is. And, oh, I think one thing is that for some reason, the bottom portion going around here, it doesn't show. I, I don't know how to fix that. So, again, just bear with me. Um, but to continue on, you go to system security, system and security. And you go to system. And as you can see, again, this is the new vision hardware right there i don't know if it actually saves the name it doesn't um, but you can see there's the model right here and there's the hardware but to continue on you go to advanced system settings and this window pops up so in the performance section right over here you go to settings and right now you can't see it, but in the bottom portion right here, like in the in this right corner in the bottom, it should say apply. So you're going to have to apply all of these settings. OK, so it's going to show you it's going to be like this for you. And then uh, from then from there, you go to adjust for best for for best performance. So it's going to appear on uh, best appearance, but you want best performance. So you click this one. It unchecks everything, but what you can do is you could do a custom where you choose which ones you want and which ones you don't, and uh, you can just play with it and you'll see which one works for you and doesn't. I just get rid of everything, so and then I go down here, click apply, and after that, I move on to advanced. In advanced, it should be already uh, checked. But it's gonna it's gonna show uh, adjust for best performance for programs, so just make sure that that's checked, and then you go down to virtual memory, and in virtual memory, uh, you won't have this amount. I think for new vision owners uh, of the tablets, it should be like around a thousand something. For any other PC, it just varies based on your current RAM. So new vision tablets have two gigabytes of RAM in general. So this is probably going to be like one. It usually just uh, adds one more for two. So it kind of, it gives you 50% more in virtual memory, usually. And that goes for, I think, uh, general PCs. And so you go to change. Uh, it's going to show, it's going to look like this. And so you're going to have to click right here. Where it says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. So you uncheck that and then it's going to, again, it's going to have, it's going to be, I think it's going to be right here for you guys. So you go here, custom size. What I did, I, um, I went off of the recommended amount and I think I multiplied it by three times. So I multiplied it by three roughly. So, um, it's probably, I probably multiplied it by less, maybe like 2.5 times, but I multiplied it. And I got this number. 
So this is the part where it, it varies on you as a user. So I have an extra SD card on file and that is my D drive. And so I have more space just on that. And I pretty much allocate all my files that I can on that. So if you guys don't have an SD card installed in the tablet, I would recommend maybe just adding uh, one more time. So two times, uh, so it would be around 2,300 something for the recommended amount. So that's what I would add. Because if you're just going off of your internal storage which is only 32 gigabytes really it's more like 229 uh, gigabytes um that's not a lot like right now currently in my um storage i have around six free gigabytes even though it says that i have this amount that's not exactly what's going on i have around six gigabytes of free memory um and that's because of this correct so i could remove everything and then i would have this amount but obviously I'm not doing that. Uh, so it just varies on person to person. If you guys have an SD card installed, if you guys don't, how much memory you guys still want to have. So again, this will vary, but this is what I did. And I think it has helped me in performance. And then you go here, you set and click OK. And you... Uh, again go down here you can't see it but you go down here and apply and you close it out and from there you're pretty much done okay close it out and of course at the end of all of this you're going to have to uh, go ahead and restart the new vision tablet and everything should be applied um, you'll see some differences pretty much immediately I don't know if you guys could see in my cursor, there is no shadow anywhere. So that's one of the things uh, in the tiles, it uh, it flips a certain, like the tiles don't flip. It's just like a, a quick pass through of whatever image it's showing. And so that's it. And also um, just wanted to show that I am running OBS Studio on here. Uh, I, I dropped it down to 30 frames per second for this video and I think uh, I think the settings are around uh, 720 for output 720p because I tried this earlier with 1080p at 60 frames and it was very choppy and slow so I'm hoping that these settings will work and for future things that I might do on, on this tablet um, the this will help out so, and again, this is my first time using OBS Studio. So all of this, I, the OBS, I recently just learned. Um, so just bear with me. And hopefully this, has, this video has helped you guys out. Like, don't like, uh, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.